Kazakhstan has chosen the multi-vector integration. Its trends, collisions and prospects are coming up in the single market program. Hello, my name is Pavel Koklyshev and you're watching Single Market. Our today's program is themed to commemorate the day of Astana. Fifteen years ago, the Special Economic Zone Astana New City was launched. The main idea at that time was to use the investment platform of the new business territory in order to accelerate the construction of Kazakhstan's capital. Over the course of the project's realization, it became clear that the potential of the Special Economic Zone is much greater. As a result, a decision was made to expand the territory of the Special Economic Zone and create within it an industrial park. Among the 10 special economic zones of Kazakhstan, Astana New City is the most successful. This is the only platform in the country that bears the special status of having gained international acclaim. In 2015, the special economic zone of the capital was highly ranked in the FDI Global Free Zones Index. This magazine, being a sub-editorial of the Financial Times, compiles an annual international rating of economic zones. In 2014, the FDI experts assessed 45 of these business platforms. In every nomination, winners are chosen in four regions of the world – North and South America, Middle East and Africa, and Europe and Asia. In addition, awards were given to special economic zones that are located in the sub-regions. This is the category in which the special economic zone in Astana was highlighted. Astana New City has won in Central Asia to be the best and the brightest and the most promising special economic zone in the whole of Central Asia. In 2016, the special economic zone Astana New City received a special award for its optimal conditions for working with foreign investors. In the FDI rating, Kazakhstan's special economic zone received a high score for the provision of visa-free entry and conclusion of agreements with 16 countries of the world. The Astana New City Special Economic Zone was created specifically to attract investments, create the necessary favorable environment. This entails preferential tax and customs incentives. This year, the Special Economic Zone has all the chances of once again earning the recognition of the reputable publication, which is always aiming for the successful growth. The initial project specified that Astana New City will occupy an area of 1,052 hectares. But the left bank of the city, where the Special Economic Zone is located, was developing so fast that a decision was made to expand its territory to 7,634 hectares. And today, 95% of the industrial park has already been commissioned. Taking this into account, we are planning the realization of a second industrial park. At the moment, we are in the middle of the development of the draft project, and the plans are to commence construction approximately by 2020. Today, there are 40 companies operating in the first industrial park. Some of them work in one sector. For example, three enterprises that were established with the attraction of foreign capital manufacture technical railway equipment. Entire clusters are being developed for the production of wagons, diesel-powered locomotives and electric locomotives. We will continue cooperation with such large transnational companies such as General Electric, Talgo and Alstom. These three companies were one of the first to become part of the Special Economic Zone. But according to experts, production enterprises that were established here relatively recently, thanks to the special conditions of the Economic Zone, also have all the chances of becoming successful. The company Utaria opened its own enterprise on the territory of the Special Economic Zone in 2015. After one and a half years, full-fledged sewing production was established here. Today, the enterprise has three plants for knitting, sewing and cutting. The production process is automated to the extent that it is possible. For example, instead of the usual template, the operators of this plant use laser equipment. The production process of a specific product item commences with its special card. For every product item, a special card is created, which contains information on the design, the order of the technological procedure of the cutting process, and the specific parameters of the design. This production process is controlled through an automatic system which uses a 1C platform as its base. It is set up on every section of the swing plant. The program is Asub Stilon. 
It controls the entire process from the beginning of the manufacturing process to the final product. Everything is tracked, the textile, costs, time frames, the cards are created, and at the end of the month, for every day, we can see a report on the production results. It compiles all the documents that are necessary in the garment manufacturing sector. The experience of the company Kazakhstan Aselsan Engineering deserves special attention. This is a joint Kazakhstan-Turkey production enterprise that was opened on the territory of the Special Economic Zone five years ago. One percent of the shares are owned by the Defense Industry Committee of Turkey, 50 percent by the national company Kazakhstan Engineering, and 49 percent by the Turkish company Aselsan. Our goal as the top management of this company is to make this enterprise competitive and find our niche and markets abroad. We're fully capable of shipping 10% of our produced products to Turkey and to the countries of the CIS up to 60%. To use the latest technologies with the help of which the production will become efficient. To produce goods that can compete not just on the domestic markets, but also the markets abroad. And to create a business climate that is even more favorable for business activities and more attractive for the investment inflows. These ambitions facilitate the creation of a centrifugal force. Because according to experts, the best projects on the territory of the Special Economic Zone Astana New City are yet to be realized. Amina Toyekbaeva, Askar Etkenov, Astana, exclusively for single market. Today, Astana is considered to be the center for the attraction of direct foreign investments. Many foreign companies and financial institutions have chosen the capital city of Kazakhstan as a place to realize the boldest business ideas and projects. Precisely what influences this choice and what are Astana's business prospects? Coming up in our Navigator report. Astana is developing rapidly by opening up new opportunities for business development and attracting investments. And this trend has been observed for a number of years. To this day, almost 4.5 trillion tenge were invested in Kazakhstan's capital. Just in 2016, the inflow of investments into capital assets amounted to around 838 billion tenge. One of the biggest markets in Astana's investment portfolio is the real estate market. Last year, more than 137.5 billion tenge were invested into the sector. This is almost a quarter of the entire investment volume. 2,025,000 square meters of residential space, or 21,000 apartments, were built with this money. The real estate market is still as attractive as ever in the midterm prospects. By 2020, the city will develop around 5,000 hectares. In second place in terms of investments is the administration and service sector, around 134 billion tenge. The project Smart City, which in itself is an electronic platform of public city services, has great prospects for attracting investment inflows. Then there are projects connected with transport infrastructure. 104 billion tenge have been invested into this. It is worth noting that a great share of investments comes from domestic sources, and this means that there is still potential in attracting foreign capital investments. According to experts, the rise in foreign investment flows into Kazakhstan's capital will be facilitated by the project the International Financial Center Astana, which will be realized using the infrastructure of Expo 2017. I would remind that the International Financial Center will offer investors a wide range of preferential incentives in terms of taxes, getting visas, and employing foreign specialists. And finally, the Special Economic Zone Astana New City has a pretty good potential for attracting investments. Already 41 projects have been realized on its territory. And instead of a summary, according to experts, Kazakhstan's capital has a whole array of other advantages which make Astana the most investment-attractive city in Central Asia. The most important one of them is a rapidly growing city located at the Eurasian intersection of the Silk Road economic belt. My name is Alexander Galiev. Until next time on Single Market. The machine building sector can be rightfully added to the list of sectors that have infused Kazakhstan's capital city with new energy. Over a relatively short period of time, a number of machine building enterprises were able to find a worthy place on the domestic and foreign markets. Our correspondent visited one of these enterprises.
In November 2015, on the territory of the Industrial Park of the Special Economic Zone Astana Zanakala, the opening of a new plant was held, the joint Kazakhstan-South African Enterprise, Kazakhstan Paramount Engineering. The project's realization was based on the principles of state and private partnership. At the same time, the investor from South Africa channeled funds in the amount of 50% of the estimated value of the project and passed on the technical and technological documentation to Kazakhstan's side on a royalty-free basis. Technology is the most valuable asset of our plant. Therefore, if we calculate the value of our assets and the cost of the technical documentation, if it is evaluated correctly, then this is hundreds of millions of US dollars. Such a high evaluation is due to the specialization of this enterprise. The plant Kazakhstan Paramount Engineering manufactures goods for the defense sector. The product list includes armored wheeled vehicles. Our main clients are the Special Forces of the Ministry of the Defense of the Republic of Kazakhstan and also various Special Forces that are located in the Republic of Kazakhstan. The enterprise has established the production of two models of technical equipment, Boris with a 6x6 wheel drive and Arlan with a 4x4 wheel drive. Enhanced anti-mine protection is guaranteed by the special V-shaped under chassis. Our vehicles are protected due to the compliance with the NATO Stanex standards. This allows for protection from all small arms that exist in the arsenal. The cooperation with the South African partner ensures that this project gets everything that makes the production process efficient. Other plants are located neatly next to each other on a single territory. The latest equipment has been installed and the newest technology is used in the production process. The materials, metal and rubber, are procured from the best European companies. Every vehicle after assembly undergoes special testing. By the way, analogous machines which the South African company manufactures at its base production plant are also successfully exported. These are the MRAP type of vehicles, which stands for Mine Resistant Ambush Protected. They're used in the United States and one of the models of these vehicles is also being produced here in Kazakhstan. Today, the share of local content in the assembly production is 38%. In the upcoming three years, the enterprise intends to raise the share of local content to 50%. The plans management have set the goal of establishing export channels. The geography of potential exports includes the countries of the Near East. At the same time, all the current challenges are being taken into account. It is very difficult for us to enter these markets because we have to face questions such as how old is your company, how much was purchased by your army, how did your vehicles perform. Therefore, in order to sell and establish export channels, we need a background story. In order to create a good business history and establish a great business reputation, the plant is working on improving the engineering communication and expansion of the range of products. In the prospective future, the enterprise will establish the production of another three models and will produce up to 120 vehicles annually. An international scale event, which throughout the entire period of this summer is bound to receive heightened attention from the entire world, today is being held in Kazakhstan's capital. And today, when we say Astana, we imply Expo 2017. And when we say Expo 2017, we mean Astana. That is why it would be logical to celebrate yet another anniversary of our capital on one of the platforms of this international exhibition. And for clearly understandable reasons, Kazakhstan's National Pavilion, which occupies a central place at Expo 2017, was chosen as this platform. Our pavilion is called Nuralem. From Kazakh, this translates as Bright World. And this name was not chosen accidentally. Nuralem was designed in the shape of a huge sphere. People say that at night, the lit sphere can be seen even from space. I don't know about space, but from here, the scale of Kazakhstan's National Pavilion is truly impressive. The surface area of the sphere is 15,000 square meters, height 80 meters, and weight 13,000 tons. In terms of these parameters, Nuralem is almost twice as heavy as the Eiffel Tower. The impressive weight of the structure is due to 2,824 glass blocks. 
These blocks are unique in terms of form and content. The glass is bent on two planes, thereby forming a sphere shape without angles. In addition, photovoltaic cells are installed. They are used to accumulate solar energy, which is then transformed into electric energy. We will not have to spend electric energy on heating and lighting because the entire design of Nuralem is based on green energy. All types of alternative energy, solar and wind, is being used by this construction. This way we're conserving natural resources. Another special feature of the external design of Nuralem are two silent wind generators. They are located on the upper part of the construction and work regardless of the direction and fluctuations of the wind. These wind generators perform a utilitarian function, helping support the building with electric energy. Inside the thematic concept of the sphere is presented as a museum of energy of the future, which is comprised of eight floors. The highlight of the pavilion is precisely those forms of alternative energy that are presented here. Because the theme of Astana Expo 2017 is future energy, every floor is themed for a separate form of alternative energy. The lower level is divided into two main zones. In one of them, the visitors of the exposition can find out about Kazakhstan's landscape, culture and history. Another zone titled Creative Energy, the best green economy projects of Kazakhstan scientists are presented. And this is where the Tokamak KTM is set up, a replica of the thermal nuclear reactor which is located in the city of Kurchatov. Over the course of the thermal nuclear synthesis, a great amount of energy is generated, and also plasma is produced. This is how Tokamak generates electric energy. 120 megawatt of energy is required to launch this machine. This amount of energy can be accumulated from a city with a population of 300,000 people. The fourth level of Nuralem is designed in the form of an area with a green panorama. This is where the biomass energy section is located. On the fifth floor, the visitors of Expo can go for a stroll along the Alley of the Winds and feel the energy of wind masses. At the base of the sixth level of the exposition is a huge orange sphere. It symbolizes the sun, and it becomes immediately clear that the visitors can witness different ways of using solar energy throughout different historical periods of the world, starting with ancient civilizations and finishing with the latest and newest technologies. After the sixth level, there is the seventh level. The seventh floor is themed space energy, so this is the clean source of energy that humanity will possibly use in the future. And finally, under the couple of the sphere, on the eighth floor, the exposition, the future of Astana is located, an apogee of the futuristic design of Kazakhstan's pavilion. On the floor we have the map of Kazakhstan, which can be seen on the mirror surface of the ceiling. Throughout the exhibition there is a narration in three languages about plans to, let's say, increase GDP from 12,000 to 60,000 US dollars and enter the list of top 30 best cities of the world. This sphere has already become the symbol of the 166th International Specialized Exhibition, Expo 2017. It has been highlighted in many pictures and photos and television broadcasts of international publications and TV channels. And every tourist who comes to Astana during this period, first and foremost tries to get a picture of themselves with the background of Kazakhstan's pavilion. That is why the organizer's proposal to set up the Museum of the Future in this space is quite logical. Alek Boldarev, Askarat Kenov, exclusively for Single Market. That's all for today. My name is Pavel Koktashev. Kind reminder, all the episodes of our program are available on www.kazakh-tv.kz. Until next time on Single Market.